Good afternoon, I'm Sybil Nelson and this is for Animal Behavior. My chosen animal is the rock chuck and we're standing in front of the one of the many out, rock outcrops in Bend, Oregon. That is their habitat. They hibern hibernate for most of the year and come out in April and then go back in in October. They are polygamous and they have an alpha male with several females and youngsters that live inside the out rock outcrops. The youngsters are, um, they are mammals, so they're born alive, uh, viviparous, and they nurse and they stick around for a year after. The males then go off and form their own colonies and the females stick around. Um, also, they are a fantastic mascot of us here in Bend. There's a baseball team and they are so beloved and protected. Um, they often uh, will nibble on your bulbs and then move them out into your yard and so they're quite funny. So, thanks so much for watching. As we just saw in the video of the alpha male with the yellow belly showing higher health and carotene value in their bloodstream, uh, this bark of aggression is uh, very protective. He's showing signs of testosterone and um, he wants to protect his rock outcrop. Um, this is a mating behavior they are in high mating season right now and so he's just being very protective and um, I'm very lucky that I got to see him bark like this. Thank you so much for watching. And now for my four hypotheses. We'll start with proximately as the Tinbergen's four levels of analysis. There's proximately, which um, contains developmental function, ontogeny, and then controlling mechanisms. Um, for my hypothesis in developmental ontogeny, during development, male offspring remains safe in the family's den until one and a half years old as of um, the U.S. Forest Service reports and then leaves the nest and makes his own colony and I hypothesize that this is because of the testosterone and the aggression of his father and him um, butting heads and so it has um, developed to be this way. Then in the controlling mechanism with the proximate framework of Tinbergen's four levels of analysis in ethology, we find a notable paper regarding larger individuals emerging from hibernation earliest due to greater physiological demands. Um, and my observations concur. Moving on to the ultimate factors in Tinbergen's uh, four levels of analysis, we have adaptive function as well as evolutionary function. For my adaptive hypothesis, ultimately the alpha male rock chuck displaying the brightest coloration is the healthiest and can attract the most mates, giving him the greatest fitness. Um, in one of the papers I read, the coloration um, uh, is uh, significant because it shows that he has greater nutrients and um, carotene in his system and will create the healthiest offspring. And of the two specimens in my videos, uh, you will see that um, the one making the call with greater aggression, he has greater coloration and is overall the stronger specimen. In my evolutionary function um, of the Tinbergen's four levels of analysis, my hypothesis is as follows. 
ultimately, by Tinbergen's four levels of analysis, we find a high <laughs> Excuse me. We find that the alpha male yellow belly marmot has evolved greater testosterone for greater genetic variability, of course, but also for greater protection. Um, you know, when they were first evolving, probably their greatest risk was a lot of predators around. And so the alpha male has evolved to be very aggressive and he will approach you and he has multiple ways of sensing if it's a safe uh, way he'll put his nose in the air and smell and also he'll raise his body and then lower it and raise it again and these are all sensing mechanisms from his testosterone that have evolved so he can uh, determine what's going on and what he needs to do to protect his females and um, so, meanwhile, the females have estrogen, and so they run away and spend more time in the den. Thus, they have a lesser maternal investment. Thus, fourth, the alpha male, he, without that investment in the offspring, he spends his time uh, foraging and protecting. Thank you so much.